So here I'm going ahead and I'm going to put together the emergency brake on my 81 CJ7. Um, there's another video that I'll put a link on this one too that I did on tearing it down. So it's pretty much the reverse, but I'm going to go into some of the the sizes of the bolts and the different nuts and things like that because there's a fair number of pieces that go into it that you're going to have to replace if you pull it and apart and tear it all down like this. I went ahead and powder coated a couple of the items here. So I powder coated both sides of this piece here. I've already put in the little bushing right there where the where the pole goes through. And I'll show that in a couple of minutes. So I did both sides of this one. And then here's the main big piece there. This goes on the firewall. These nuts right here go on the other side within the engine side. And so this just mounts right up. And this, this part right here goes right on the inside underneath the dash and attaches to the framing. And then here's the actual pedal itself. So I, you could probably powder coat this whole thing. I went ahead because there's a bunch of rubbing parts in here, the way the teeth are, and this here that I went ahead and taped this off before I powder coated it. And then this part here as well, because this piece goes over it and it moves. So um, even though it's rubbing against potentially that part right there, I went ahead and just did not powder coat that in. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm sure you could if you wanted to. So putting it back together is pretty much the same as pulling it apart. There's a couple of uh, different sizes and things like that. First off, as I was shown in the other video, when you take these parts out, this is like the, this is the, the captured, uh, I don't know, sleeve here, but it's welded in there. So you're going to have to take off both sides of the, of the pressed in part there. Again, I, I showed that a little bit on the other video and uh, the particular sizes for these pieces here. So this is the same thing. This goes up um, on, on there, right there. So I'll give you the size and the, and the dimensions of all that stuff. Um, I guess first off, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble where the, where the cable comes in. So this is where the cable comes in and it attaches right there. So the cable comes right out, gets locked in and then just goes there to the floor. So what this is, this is a, I just used a 5 16 universal clevis pin and I just cut it. This doesn't have to be tight because this um, actually is pretty loose because it's got to, it's got to be able to swivel a little bit as you're moving this up and down. So there's really no point in making it tight. So that's pretty straightforward. Again, I just cut it. And then here, and you can just bend this around you could use a cotter pin, I suppose, as well, or, or a clevis pin. I think that's what it's called. But I can just use that there. So that's pretty straightforward. Again, I just kind of cut it to length. It doesn't matter as long as it's tight in there and can hold that up. Remember, that cable goes from here down into the, and down into the hole. So then the next thing that we do is we can... Actually, this is kind of easy. So this is a 3 8 inch bolt. So this is the, I got a 3 8 inch bolt. I got a washer for it. And I got a nylon lock nut. And it's going to go over the, the little bushing right here. And that's what the, it's. I guess it's the e-brake stop or the emergency brake stop. I don't even actually know how long this bolt is here. Go ahead and measure it. So it is a inch and a half. So this is an inch and a half, three eighths inch bolt. Again, it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna do this quickly because there's really not much to it. And that pretty much looks exactly like it came out. I'll show you that. So this goes right in there. And uh, I'll tighten up all this stuff later, but I'll just go ahead and put it, put it together. I'm gonna to get a, um, a washer for that at a different point here. So that'll just tighten up there, back, and so that, that's that bushing there. 
And then the next piece we're going to do is, um, I think, the main arm here. So I was messing around with it before. So again, this goes right in here. You got to line up this hole right here. I'm trying to get this oriented so I can do it right. So this is a, what I had to do here is, and all these pieces go together. So this sandwiches actually a couple different pieces and goes right over there. So you have this half inch bolt here. So here's what I have for all that. I have a half inch bolt, got a half inch nut, half inch lock washer, two regular washers, and a sleeve. So this is a sleeve where the outer diameter, or sorry, the inner diameter, where this could slip over is this piece right here. This is a, and I went ahead and cut it. So I just took the old, the old bushing right here and I cut it to the same size or the sleeve, I guess, the welded in sleeve. And so I just cut this one here. Again, this is a Hillman and it is one half inch on the inner diameter, five eighths on the outer diameter and one and one eighth inch long. I didn't need it that long, but so I just cut it with a pipe cutter, which actually worked out really well. So essentially we have these pieces here. And again, um, you could probably just go ahead and buy a, and let me get the dimensions of this as well. This is an inch and a half long. So if you can find a half inch bolt that's an inch and a half long, that would probably work as well. I went ahead and bought a much longer one and cut it. And the reason for doing that, this is like a six inch or seven inch one, is that I wanted a smooth surface here. It probably doesn't matter too much, but this if this can probably ride. And I mean, it's a really nice tight fit in there. Uh, it can probably ride on the threads. I wanted it to ride. I wanted a, sm a long enough smooth surface here and they don't put the smooth surfaces on there except for the longer bolts. So I wanted that riding on that smooth surface there. And again, that worked out. I mean, that, that's a really tight fit. There's no play. Remember, this is welded in there. So that's what that is meant to replace. I'm not gonna bother welding it or, or, or tying it. I don't think it's that necessary. That's a pretty sturdy piece right there. So this is going to go right in there. Okay, for the half inch bolt though, you do have to, so this, I'll start here. The half inch bolt, I did have to drill this out a tiny bit. It was uh, like a 64th too small for that half inch bolt to go through. So I just uh, drilled it out. I probably should have drilled it out before I powder coated it, but that's okay, that's just a little there. So I had to drill that out to a half inch. I just used a half inch bit and drill, drill press. And this as well, so this is the other side. And again, remember, this is the sleeve gets sandwiched in there. So the sleeve actually creates a specific space between these two pieces right here. So that this can ride right in there. So it's really tight and it doesn't have any play this way, but it's but then you can you can uh, lock this down, you can tighten that down with a bolt and that bushing or the sleeve here prevents it from getting too tight so that you can't easily turn this. I mean, I think it's pretty straightforward once you get into it. Um, all right, so earlier I was messing around with this and it seemed like there's a lot of pieces that go in here. So I'm actually gonna do that one first. So I'm gonna pull this, uh, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna spin that around. So then you put the sleeve on there meaning I'll show you in a minute. Then that slides right on there. Again, that's that's really nice, tight. I guess I got to... Uh... <laughs> there we go. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Okay, so that's that piece there. Um, so again, this, this slides right in there. Oh, that's what's promised. It's not. 
Okay, let me try it this way. Put the, that in first and then slide this over. There we go. Now it's sitting a little bit better. Okay. So there we go. So there we have that piece in there. Now this piece goes in and it sandwiches right over there, except for there's a bunch of pieces and a spring that goes into this top hole up here. I'll try to get it oriented a little bit easier. Like I said, this thing is uh, a number of pieces going everywhere. I feel like I need something underneath. There we go, holding that, there we go, holding that bolt up, okay. So here we have this piece here, like I said, it goes around and there's another one. So this sleeve right here, remember this one, you're gonna have to grind both out. It was sitting right here. And that is a one fourth, a Hellman one fourth inner diameter, three eighths inch outer. And again, it was a one inch piece and I just, I, I cut what I needed off there. And so now I have this little sleeve. So this is what this is. This is a fourth uh, quarter inch bolt. And again, uh, same kind of setup as before. I got quarter inch uh, washers. And then here's that little bushing. Oops. Here's that other bushing. That's what I cut off of there. Uh, and that fits really nicely right inside that hole there. Again, there's a lot of pieces here. So again, it, this is just wider then, so it can be tightened down. A little sleeve, so it can be tightened down, but these things can still swing. Actually, the orientation does matter here. There we go, so it goes like that. That's how it goes in there, and it goes right on top of there like that. And again, I'm gonna go from underneath in fact, I have a longer one that I'm going to use. I have a longer, so this is just a one I'm going to use to tie in. So I'm going to work it from the back up for right now. Okay. So now, again, this, here's the tricky part, is this little spring right here. Because this goes, it slides right in here. So this, that basically creates the pressure. It creates the pressure for this piece right here. So you can kind of see, I mentioned this in the other video, that it creates a pressure down so that you can, so that's what that does. When you press down on the pedal, it clicks. And this holds that down. This spring right here goes right underneath there. There's a little space for it. It goes right in that space right there. So this piece goes right there, right in there, and actually, it's kind of a little, a little tricky to get in there. That's why I have the bolts pointing up. I had a trouble before getting it in there. So I gotta, I gotta feed this over. Oops. Like I said, you gotta play with it a little bit. Gotta hold that down and hold that in. Cause it's gotta feed into that little spot. This, this right here has to go in there. No, 
Nope, didn't get it. Yeah, that spring is kind of tricky. That's got to be held down there. Spring in there. There we go. There we go. Okay, so just for keeping things together until I get it tightened, I'm gonna put the, the nuts on here and the nut on here just to test out to make sure that it's going together okay. gets pushed down. This lever gets pressed up. Sorry, terrible angle, but when that gets pressed up, it presses up against the little spring right here and it releases it. So you can release it back and then here's the stop. And then here's the stop. Sorry. <laughs> Terrible angle. <laughs> okay, so you can kind of see the stop there. Again, I showed this in the other video. So that seems to be working. You kind of see the, the mechanism moving there with the teeth. And so that seems to be locked in there pretty well. So I can go ahead and put in the other pieces um, just to there's a little clip right there that actually goes inside um, it actually goes right here and it holds in the the brake cable emergency brake cable comes up through that hole and here is the emergency brake switch light switch and this just goes right on top of there and screws down and it's adjustable. I'm not going to tighten everything up right now so that when you release it, it comes down here and it presses. It presses that down. It presses, there's a little spring right here and there's a little wire in the wiring harness that when this presses down so it works kind of the reverse way when you when you disengage it it presses presses down and presses the spring in when you engage it it releases this because this is going up away it releases this spring here and then it turns this the switch off so or when you engage it, I mean, it turns the, the light on. There's a, little, there's a little plug here. I think it's a ground plug. And that just mean, that just allows you to, uh, the light switch to go on. And then this piece here, here's the spring. Like I said, I think the, the rest assembly is pretty straightforward. That's gonna go through there. And that goes in there. There we go. You can kind of see that, that it disengages it. And what goes on the back here, I turn this over, 
It's just a, um, a capture, uh, it's some kind of lock washer, press, press washer or something like that. So that gets on there. Again, I'm not going to tighten them all up right now. We can kind of see back here. And that's pretty much it. And then, oh, you probably had to bend these little tabs. Take one of the little tabs to get that plate on. And so you just have to go through, once everything is tightened down, just be real careful and, and bend that little tab. At least in my case, it's this tab over here. I'm just gonna bend it sideways so it's on that orientation. And then that's, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna tighten everything down. And that should be all the sizes. Again, this is a quarter inch bolt here. And I gave the, uh, I showed a close up of the two Hillman sleeves. It took me a little while to find the sleeves. So this was, I just got these, I think at Lowe's. So you can kind of see the number there and the size. That's the small one. And then the large one, the dimensions, like I said, half inch on the inside. So it goes with that half inch bolt, five eighths on the outer and it fits real nicely in there. So right here, that sleeve is really nice, and then right here, it's really tight as well. There's no play. You don't really want any play. There's a lot of pressure when you press down on, the, on your foot on the, on the brake pedal here. You really crank down on it, um, and there's, there's no play. Once I tighten that up, there's gonna be nothing on the, on the side to side. So I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully that covers everything and gets all the sizes of all the pieces in there. And this is a 15 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths clevis pin here. That's a 3 eighths inch bolt. You don't need any kind of sleeve for that. You don't need a sleeve for that. It's just these two pieces right here. Again, I'm going to flip this bolt around and this here and tighten it up and then I'll be all set. Thanks for watching.